Hey folks, Craig from The Vinyl Record Player. Today I'm going to show you five records that were not available stream on streaming services. I bought the records, now they're available on streaming services. So you can check them out too. Stick around. Alright, so yeah. I did a video about um, buying records specifically because they were not on streaming services, which is still the case. Definitely, if you're buying like soul records or sort of, you know, obscure garage and psychedelic and heavy rock records, um, if they're more obscure, chances are they may not actually be streamable. So at any rate, let's uh, get into what, uh, what I found. This is in Philadelphia by Wilson Pickett. You'll find that Wilson Pickett's RCA years, which is uh, basically most of his 70s work after this, and, I, and I, there's another album, I think, th this might actually be his last album on Atlantic, uh, but it's a great album. Bumblebee is the, is the killer track on this one, but uh, this is uh, Wilson Pickett produced by Gamble and Huff. Uh, really good album. Um, in fact, it's my only Wilson Pickett album. I'm not saying that that's that you know this is a one and done artist. He's got a ton of really great stuff, but um, this one uh, is definitely one you want to pick up. And by the way, as I mentioned, you can now stream it. I bought this one a long time ago, but I've played this one to death over the years. This is Sissy Houston uh, on the Janus label. Um, Here's the Janus label here. I think I ordered this uh, off of eBay. Uh, this is just basically, I think, like a compilation of singles when she was on the Janus label. She was, of course, a member of the Sweet Inspirations and also Whitney Houston's mother. Uh, but wow, uh, singer. Singer. Um, I think what attracted me to this one, she was a cover of... Um, uh, I just don't know what to do with myself, which is kind of a bit of a Northern Soul highlight. But uh, this whole compilation is really good. You can get it. I know you can get it on YouTube streaming. Check it out. Uh, simply because I think you'd kind of be blown away at how great of a singer she is, how much she sounds like Whitney Houston. And also just it's shocking uh, that she kind of really never went anywhere. Um, uh, also, a really uh, another stand-up uh, stand-up track on this one is "Any Guy," which apparently is a song originally by Melanie. Um, wow, just cooking version. Uh, she's outstanding. One of these artists that should have sold um, should have been, uh, I think, in the pantheon with your um, Aretha Franklin, your uh, Etta James, uh, your uh, Candy Staten. Uh, type of singers. Uh, wow, really good record. I just actually listened to this the other night. Uh, this was not available on stream for a good portion of the time. I, I think it's maybe in the past couple of years. This is Cactus, uh, one way or another, um, from I think 70 or 71. This was, I think, there, there's no gatefold on this. This was, I think, there, it's a rough copy. It's all kind of a little, you got some tape on there and stuff. Record plays good. Um, rockin', rockin'. Um, is it Jim McCarty who's the guitarist on this one, I think? Uh, anyway, this album and also Cactus's first album, super rockin' ass albums, like, um, heavy, heavy blues rock, uh, The Singer's Fun, um, this is a really, I think this is just a really good album. Pretty much the whole, there's not as much a standout track as this album is, you know, if you're looking to rock it up, uh, you want one way or another. Cactus. I actually found this when I was uh, going back home. This is uh, Yvonne Fair's The Bitch is Black. Um, this one, I swore this one wasn't available streaming. And unfortunately, a lot of the stuff with Motown in the 70s is just kind of, some of it is streamable. Some of it is like, you can't even find a, a clip of an album on, um, on YouTube. Never mind their secondary label, Prodigal, which is even worse, although the artist's not as, as good. Um, Yvonne Fair basically had a huge hit in Britain 
uh, in the UK called uh, It Should Have Been Me, uh, which is a hilarious song. Um, it's, you know, basically like she's at a wedding and it should have been me. And great song, but the rest of this album uh, is also freaking fantastic. Um, she does a cover of uh, Funky Music, Show Enough Turns Me On. Uh, what else we got here? Tell Me Something Good. Uh, I believe this is also uh, produced by um, Norman Whitfield. I'm not 100% on that one. This, this, one was, this one was $12 Canadian. Um, but... Uh, and normally I'm like 10, man, but it was Canadian. And also I was like, well, I don't know that I'm going to see this one again. Pretty good record. Uh, also, again, you can stream it. This is one that I bought a, a bit a bit back. And I also have the, the second LP by the Graham Edge Band featuring Adrian Gervitz. Now, Graham Edge, of course, uh, the drummer from the Moody Blues. Uh, he has a couple of kind of rock slash disco -y slash albums, including this one. Uh, this one is called Kick Off Your Dirty Boots. Yes, I, I have actually listened to it before. Here's a gatefold on this big dog. You see, that's like classic 70s stuff. Um, I basically, uh, you know, I don't really have like a monster love for Graham Edge. He's cool, I guess, but uh, I kind of did go through a little bit of a Baker Gervitz army phase for a bit. And I just happened to run across these LPs and they just weren't streamed. So I was like, ah, crap, I'll buy them. I mean, I'm sure they were five bucks or something like that. Uh, they're good. They're not outstanding. I'm not like, you know, mortgage your house for a near mint copy of this. But uh, Adrian Gervitz did most of the songwriting, a lot of the singing on this one. Um, if you like Baker Gervitz army, you might like this. Uh, he kind of, he's, he's one of those guitarists that likes to rip. You know, if, if you don't like guitarists that like to rip, you won't like this. Um, this album is, is just mostly Adrian Gervitz uh, with Graham Edge. On the second album, which I believe is called Paradise Ballroom, which I also have, uh, I think Graham Edge was like, hey, dude, I, I gotta, it's my band. It's my band. I wanna do some songs. So basically, uh, the second album, there's a lot less Adrian Gervitz on it, uh, but he kind of goes a little buck wild on this one. Um, again, kind of a cool, spacey cover. Um, and again, uh, Graham Edge just passed about a year ago, so suddenly everything is streamable. That's what happens when you die, friends. That's what happens. Um, so I think that actually is my five. Graham Edge fan. Evil and Fair, the bitch is black. Cactus, one way or another. Sissy Houston. Uh, really, uh, Janus album slash compilation. And then, of course, Wilson Pickett in Philadelphia. Uh, so, yeah, that's five LPs that I bought because I couldn't stream. Then now they're available for streaming, so you can enjoy them as well. Uh, yeah, in the comments, so let me know if, of any uh, situations similar that you might have had where you were like, oh... Because this is one of the characteristics I use kind of for co collecting records. Like, if I can't stream the record, um, I'm willing to lower that bar in terms of quality because I'm like, dude, I'm the only person who's going to be able to hear this record. Uh, so anyway, uh, like, subscribe, all that crap. Uh, great to see you. Uh, we'll see you again. Bye-bye.